Hi. This is Spencer Colvin from Spencer Colvin is Wallpaper. I am hanging leather today. Take a look. Show them this beautiful product from Rash. This is probably my favorite wallpaper. Now, don't do that if your hands are oily. And uh, usually most of our hands are oily, except mine are not. You want to keep alcohol on the job with you? So let me go over some tips for hanging leather. Tip number one is have alcohol disposable at the job site to continuously wipe your hands and free your hands of any oil. Secondly, have a multiplicity of white, clean rags. Now, can you wet leather? Check your leather that you're hanging. This, you can. Other leathers I've hung, you can't. But in general, like you wear a leather jacket, if it gets rain on it, you see the spots, and they dry, you just want to check your leather to see if you can wipe it down, because here's why. Don't do this unless you check, cut a piece off and check to see if you can do this. It's inevitable that you're going to get glue on your leather. It's inevitable. A little bit. Okay. So here's what I want you to do when hanging leather. Here's a trick. Tip number three. Do not glue the leather. Glue the wall. Let me show you what I mean. And the reason you're going to do this is because you want it to expand on the wall. Yes. Now, I have a friend, his name is Kevin. He always criticizes my videos. That's all right. Kevin's a good man, and he's one of those guys that knows everything. Kevin, if you're watching, I love you. Now, let me just show you what I mean. I mean, this even coat. My leather is 21 inches from edge to edge. So I'm only gonna glue about 25 inches, all right? And I'm not gonna wait for this to dry. It's not like a fabric where you wanna let it dry. A fabric you would let the glue dry 85% and let the wall get tacky. Not in this case. And there you have it. So you're gonna glue the wall, and where's that paintbrush? Here. No, no, just keep your camera on there and I'll get it. On the piece of paper. Okay. And very simply, of course, you don't want to hit your ceiling with glue. You want to just go up at the top and pull that glue right to the corner, okay? Now, it's a very thin layer of glue, okay? You don't want it thick. And you certainly don't want it oozing out on the edges. Now, the last tip I'm going to give you, which is tip number four, is to take a brand new plastic smoother. Now, if it has nicks in it, do not use it on this. Make sure it's super smooth. Now, technically, this is not recommended, but the reason is, is because they are assuming you're going to have scratches on it. And you want to take straight, even strokes. You don't have to press too hard. The end result, come up close. The end result is going to be a really smooth, fine finish. Look at that. Look at the beautiful finish in this. This is called Stitched Leather by Rash. It's a product from the UK. Isn't that lovely? 
Now look at my seam here. The seam, you want to always make sure that there's no sticky on your, on your uh, smoother. And I'm holding this at about a 20, 25 degree angle. And I'm just pushing up. And of course I checked to see if I oozed out any glue, which I did not. And there you have it. Now I engineered the layout with this eight inches from the corner because that was best when it comes over there. Just show them that window. We're dealing with three windows here and the layout is such that it lands best if I start it over there. Okay? Any other nuances I'm going to show you as I go along. This is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.